What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about all of the sort changes coming in update 37. First of all, the shield changes, which is probably some of the biggest really buffs for the sort class overall. They increase the damage shield size of this ability and the regenerative ward morph by 10%. That is for conjuring ward. Also, they increased the max health cap for these abilities by 55% up from 50%. And this ability and its morphs now dynamically scale between the higher of your max health or magic rather than only magic. When it comes to Harden Ward, the morph, they increase the damage shield size of the morph by approx uh, approximately 7% and increase the max health cap to 72% from 60%. Now overall, this is going to be really good uh, for magic sorcerers. When it comes to Harden Ward, I still think it's going to be good if you're a, a sort tank or a stam sort. But there was not really a lot of changes when it comes to Conjuring Ward, really to scale off your, you know, your scaling from your max health or magic. I'm not quite sure why they didn't do a little bit more of something with stamina there for stamina players, because that's going to work really well, like I said, for a mag sork, for a, a, a tank, uh, if you're a sorcerer. But overall, for the stamina class, you're going to have to get maybe some of your shields from somewhere else uh, if these do not work. For you are or don't really work as you would like because they're not really basing them off like i said stamina except that hardened war that's going to be good for anyone that decides to use it no matter what uh, class you're running now when it comes to buffs and debuffs they said regarding sorcerers and their lack of unique buffs and debuffs this is intentional and there are no current plans to change this sorcerers do have some unique abilities in their kit like silences however not locking sorcerer into having a unique buff or debuff allows for more class diversity in group environments. I'm not really sure if I like this or not. I kind of wish that all characters, all classes had some unique buffs and debuffs that really separate them out from the other classes. That way when you have them in a group, they're really bringing something to the table that no other class could bring. And in my opinion, if they could work that out, it would make it more enjoyable to play in I think a lot of people would feel like the classes are a lot more diverse that way because each class would have its own unique buff and debuff uh, compared to the other classes. So in each situation, different characters could do different things. So I'm not really a big fan of that. But moving on to some other things that they talked about, uh, they talked about the pet versus non-pet builds. And this is something that I really wanted to see change personally over time. I've had a sorcerer in the game. It was the very first character I ever made was my Mag Sork uh, back in 2015 here on console. And I used to love running non-pet builds. Uh, now you pretty much have to run a pet build, no matter if you're running a Mag Sork, Stam Sork, or even a tank. And not in Update 37 are we going to see really any changes, but they are talking about making some changes maybe later down the road. As we also have been seeing the feedback regarding the pet versus non-pet builds, specifically wanting more options for non-pet builds. While there will be no changes in this update, in Update 37, we are acknowledging that the team is monitoring this. We want to make sure that the, they're thinking about this and reviewing feedback. We're keeping class presentation for uh, pet sork in mind while also allowing for class diversity for those who want to play the non-pet sork. And you can still play a non-pet sork right now. You're just not going to get the damage output on a stamina or a magic character if you're not using the pets. And before, you could still compete with those pet users if you were not using pets. And I really wish there was some way that you could kind of get that back to within, even if it's not, you know, equal on a completely equal playing field damage wise. If it's within a couple percent, if you decided not to run pets, you could still do a lot of damage, you know, within a couple percent of what a pet sorcerer could do. I think a lot of people would be happy with that. The pets just get on my nerves. I don't know what it is. I hate having them double barred. I've just never been a big fan of pet builds, but like I said, that's the character I've had for so long, and that's the character that I use probably more than any other character that I have, and I have tons of characters. I enjoy playing them all, uh, playing them all, excuse me. But the pet sork, or the sork in general, has kind of always been my go-to. And having those pet bills for the last several years is kind of annoying, and I kind of wish and hope that Zoss eventually goes back to that. You can run either or and still do really well. And kind of their final thoughts overall on the Sorcerer was lastly, they want to kind of reiter uh, reiterate the notion of classes having strengths and weaknesses. Sorcerers, like every other class, cannot be good at everything. This is part of building class identity. There's always ways for players to bridge the gap through gear, consumables, and etc. 
This does not uh, negate us from addressing problem areas, but it does mean there will be times where elements of the class will struggle compared to others, and this is okay, and part of building unique gameplay experiences. So they're kind of saying, I guess overall, the reason they didn't do some things within this update besides really just buff up those shields is because they want the classes to have diversity, and I really I think that's a good idea. Overall, the Sork is still going to be really good at that single target damage, as everybody knows. That's kind of one thing the Sork has always done really well. Adding those shields in is going to be more survivability, going to make it better, in my opinion, for players that want to use Sorcerers as, you know, whether it's Mag or Stam, even though I don't think these shields will help Stamina as much, in my opinion, but I still think it's going to be good for solo play as, uh, you know, going forward. It'll be even better for solo play, I guess, considering those shields are getting a buff. But overall, the Sork is seeing some good changes within this update i kind of hate that we didn't get any changes for the pet and non-pet builds and i'm kind of disappointed like i said about the buffs and debuffs i was really hoping eventually down the road like i said all classes will get unique buffs and debuffs that are just tailored to that specific class and that way it makes them more unique in any kind of play playing or you know a situation that you're in where you're playing dungeons or trials or whatever the case could be Anyway, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.